All right, number 60 asks us to find the equation of a plane for all the points that are equidistant and then we're given two points that that plane, uh, all the points in that plane are equidistant from these other two points. So, the big idea here is we want to use the distance formula to represent the given information as an equation. All right, now we need to develop this idea. Well, good idea to draw a picture here. Here's P1 and here's P2. And we're kind of thinking about the plane that, that's equidistant in between them. And the idea here is that if we had an arbitrary point in space, call it X, Y, Z, then this distance, we'll call it D1, in other words, we're letting D1 be the distance from point P1 to our, plane, our point X, Y, Z, our unknown point, and let's call this D2. So our two distances that are D1 and D2, so our plan is to uh, develop uh, well, let's not say develop. Why don't we say express D1 and D2 in terms of X, Y, Z and the given points. And the next thing we can do is we can set D1 equal to D2 because that's kind of our given information. In other words, that's what equidistant means. Equidistant means that the two distances are equal. And then we can square both sides. And then we can simplify. All right, now as we evaluate or plan, I'm not going to solve the whole problem because I didn't change the numbers from the book. I'm going to kind of get you started, show you how it goes, and then leave it up to you to exercise uh, the plans and the, and the steps in the plan that we don't quite get to, as well as assess and consider whether or not the answer you found makes sense. All right, so to evaluate the problem, well, the distance formula, D1, is equal to the square root of x minus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared plus y minus, oops, that should be a z. z minus 5 squared. In other words, this is the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, and the Z coordinate, so this is D1. D2 is analogous, the square root of X. Well, X minus negative 6 is X plus 6. Y minus 3 squared uh, plus Z minus 1 squared. All right, so we, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of bit this in my head. Set them equal and square both sides. You get x minus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared plus z minus 5 squared is going to be equal to x plus 6 squared plus y minus 3 squared plus z minus 1 squared. And this is the point where I'm going to sort of show you some things that are going to happen and talk about it and then leave the rest up to you uh, to solve on your own. When you FOIL out all of these uh, binomials squared, you're going to have an x squared, a y squared, and a z squared term on the left hand side of the equation. And you're also going to have an x squared, a y squared, and a z squared term on the right side of the equation. And since the coefficient of all the squared terms is 1, 
the x squared on the left is going to cancel out with the x squared on the right and likewise for the y squared and the z squared terms. So you're only going to be left with linear terms in x, y, and z plus you have to gather all the constants up and you'll have a constant term. Well what do you have if you have a constant times x plus a constant times y plus a constant times z is equal to a constant? Well that's the equation of the plane and following it through in the way I just described would complete the solution to this problem.